Is it? Oh, okay. What's what's up, people? <laughs> I am back for another video. Um, sorry, I have not been doing videos the last few days. It's just been kind of crazy. So, um, dragged across concrete. I'm still doing. I'm gonna do that on tomorrow. And I just couldn't get to take it to last night, but I watched it. And honestly, I was right. It should have just been one fucking movie. I'll, I'll admit in the beginning it wasn't too bad, but then it just more and more just, it got boring. It was very much a retread. I also thought there was too much setup. I think that's the one thing that the first Taken did was you, you go right into it. There's not a lot of setup. Like, oh, here's Brian's wife, Lenore, but that's the most you get. Oh, the most you get is he's, you know, he's trained. He's a guard. But that's like pretty much most you get. They keep it very kind of min blah, minimal on it on information. I prefer that. And then just this is just, oh, his daughter has a, a boyfriend and him and Lenore, they're setting them up to get back together. Like that's clearly what they were doing. Um, Rod, who's the father of one of the people Brian killed in the last movie, wants revenge. So he gets information out of him and eventually has a chance he ends up kidnapping his wife, Brian, Brian and his wife, and then his daughter has to like help him escape. It just this it really was just an unnecessary movie. For one, it was it was very much a retread. Two, I didn't care. The the plot didn't really it wasn't for an action movie. You think a second movie would be way more action, but no. And even the action you got just wasn't it really didn't do anything for me. That scene where the bad guys killed those security in the elevator was kind of brutal. But that was like probably the only, and that was from a bad guy. So not even, not even, Murad is played by, I can't think of his name, but he's a bad guy in a lot of movies. He's a good actor. He didn't really do anything in this movie for me. It just, a lot of this movie was just, a, it really proved my point that this should have just been one movie. The way Taken is, it's about a man getting his daughter back. I don't really need a sequel. And then, I don't know if the way, I can, I'm just, I'll say this in speculation from me. I really wonder if Liam Blake also felt that way about, like, it should have been one movie. I haven't seen the third one, but in this one, something, it just felt like he was kind of phoning it in. It didn't really feel like he gave a shit. At least that's the vibe I gave. So I'm wondering if he just, he also didn't really feel like there should have been a sequel because it just, it's so unnecessary. It, this movie, just you're just kind of sitting there. And I thought maybe, like, even if... Because, yeah, I, I'll admit, I had I came in with the whole it should not have had a sequel in the first place. It's one of the reasons I didn't watch it at the time. But I was willing to give it a chance, and I'm like, if it was decent, I can acknowledge it, but no, man. And then the ending was pretty bad. Oh, he kills the bad guy. And the, the bad guy just isn't compelling. You don't really care about his vendetta. You, uh, just none of it. It's... I just... it's. Very much, that's all I'm gonna probably title this movie Unnecessary because it is. It doesn't add anything. It's not like we learn more about Brian, and I didn't even really want them doing that anyway. Um, I'll admit, Fam K. Jensen is much more likable in this movie, but that's about it. Like, it, it just does. I'll admit, they, him, and Liam and her do kind of have chemistry. I think that's like probably the only, if you want, if I can find one positive, that is probably the only one I can think of. The action isn't just, it isn't. Like, the first one is much more hard-hitting. This was just, I don't know, it felt very by-the-books action. Just, oh, let's have him doing the same kind of moves from the first one, but not as intense. And uh. So if I were to rate this, it's not a four. I'll probably, I'll give it a five at best. It, it's, I definitely will not watch it again. Maybe three will be better, but... I have a feeling with both, I'm just going to end up... Maybe three will be better than this one, but I still feel like I'll probably just only watch the first one. Because this didn't need a sequel. And this just proves it. Like, um... It's just not a compelling story. I don't really care to follow his daughter. Like, even this somewhat similar thing where his daughter, when the, um, him and... After him and Lenore get kidnapped, his, um... His, uh daughter's about to be so he has to like talk her out of getting kids so basically just doing that again except she escapes this time that's the only difference but very much it's the same but in the first movie it was much more intense this is just 
not really. It's like, part of me is like, I know she's not going to get captured because they're not going to do that again. I'll even give them that. They had the brains to not just do that again. So that's like probably the one positive, but other positive. I just, this movie, nah. I didn't, I don't like it. it it's not compelling. It's, the, I, I, the setup is the big one. I don't think it needed. That's what made the first one so simple was there, there, there was no setup, really. You know? There was little, but I'd even argue not noticeable enough. It's more, oh, wait, let's show off Brian's skills. That's why they had to have him be a guard, just so we could show how he, you know, he knows what to do. And then his daughter goes to Paris, and then she gets kidnapped, like, pretty much. No real setup there, and I think that's what made it better in this. There's too much. There's, like, 30 minutes of, oh, we gotta have them go to Istanbul and do family stuff before they get kidnapped. And, yeah, it just it didn't do it for me. It didn't do it. Maybe three will be better. I'll, I'm going to still go in, you know, with hope, even if I have a feeling I don't think I'll like it either, but we'll see. <laughs> but tomorrow, since I didn't do it on Wednesday, I'm going to do Dragged Across Concrete, which I really enjoyed. It's not definitely one of Mel's best. Like, it's not up there with, like, Braveheart, Patriot, Lethal Weapon. It's not one of those. But it's definitely a well-done movie. I think it's a really good movie that shows the... the talks about crooked cops and you know, and to an extent you kind of understand i'm not i don't i'm not agree with the lead tally but i do you kind of get somewhat what his motivations and vince um um uh, and uh um i'll talk about it later but uh I, I enjoyed it like it's definitely a slow one it's a slow movie Yeah, Vince Vaughn. I was, like, I was trying to think of his name. Vince Vaughn's in it. I thought he did a good job. At first, I'll admit, I was a little bit like, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to take Vince. Because he's usually a comedy actor. But I thought he did a good job in this movie. And, like Vince Vaughn. Um, it's The violence, when there is violence, it's pretty. They don't hold back, man. I'll admit. So definitely, we'll, we'll talk about that one tomorrow. Sunday, I'm watching, um, some point this weekend, I'm going to go see Renfield. So I will be reviewing that. I'm also going to watch Pope's Exorcist tonight. I don't know if I'll review it. We'll see, I'll see, kind of see how I feel about it. But I think it's really good, especially because I, you know, y'all know I love horror. So if it is really good, maybe I'll review it. But I'm definitely going to review Renfield. So that's the plan. I'm going to see it before Sunday and review it. And yeah, so that's basically my plan through the weekend. So let's get started. So the movie starts. <coughs> Him and you could Eleanor, um, Brian and Lenore are like slowly kind of reconciling. <coughs> she just got divorced with um her boyfriend or her her husband from the last movie, <coughs> and her daughter has a boyfriend. Their daughter has a boyfriend now. So Brian. Um, because he's gonna be in Inst Istanbul anyways, offers to take him and her and Lenore and Kim to the, um, to Istanbul for, like, a family outing. So, um, and then while this happens, Murad, because the film actually opens with him, with him at a funeral. Marco, I think is the name of one of the guys that, um, Brian killed and he wants to get revenge. So he... Gets information out of Jean Patel, Jean Patel from the last movie, and then ends up finding out the name of Brian. So that's his story. He, apparently, he wants to. It's I don't really get it. It I don't even really get the idea because I'm like, your son was. I don't know. I get it. He's a. It seemed like he's a bad guy. I guess he has to avenge his bad guy's son. I, I guess. So after um. Um, arriving in uh, Istanbul after, you know, because he's uh, doing security for um, the leader there. Um, um, Lenore and Kim show up. They do some family stuff. And then this is where Murad finds their location. So he has people follow um, Brian throughout the film. And this is at this point. This is where we get that car chase. I'm just going to skip to that part. 
because like I was saying, there's too much setup, like 30 minutes of this that we didn't really need. Oh, there's a little bit of like, of, of uh, Brian trying to find out about Kim's boyfriend, which is just whatever. There was too much setup. Like the first one just was perfect because it was just, you kind of go right into it. There's a little bit like, oh, this is his wife or ex-wife. He is a secure, he works security. That more was just to show off. I think that's even more just let's show off his fighting skills in a realistic way before, you know, before the movie. But once his daughter, and daughter wants to go to Paris, but when she gets there, boom. And I even feel like I'll probably rewatch it and try to, I'll try to see how long it is because if it is 30 minutes, they made it, they did a better job and said doing the first 30 minutes better than this did because this was just kind of nothing until, because I think it was around 30 something or so when the bad guys show up. We get a chase. Um, Kim, uh, Brian tells Kim to kind of hide. Um, Brian tries to run away throughout the city. The chase scenes even aren't that cool. Like, you don't care. But the bad guys end up getting, this is where we get a little bit of fighting with Brian and just. I don't know. The action was just very basic. It didn't do it for me in this compared to the first one where it was pretty hard hitting. But then the bad guys have Lenore. So they end up getting captured. And I guess this is Brian like deducing where they are because there's like a bunch of imagery of like I guess where they're actually at. So um, after being um, handcuffed tied to a hole Brian manages to see sneaks in a phone and calls Kim basically tells her to get out of the hotel because the, they know she's there. That's when the bad guys go, Marad's men go to the hotel and try to find her. They even did it so retarded, at least in the first movie. That's the one thing, too, when she got kidnapped, the, they just are in there. They're just in the, the, the hotel room. Like, you don't, they don't really explain how they got in. In this, they're, like, fucking in public with guns, like... <laughs> Like, you guys are stupid. At least try to look conspicuous. Anyway, but Brian basically helps um, Kim escape. With the, it's basically the same thing in the first movie, but she escapes this time. It's the only difference. And um, she then offers to help. So that's when he has to go and do his suitcase, which has like a lot of weapons, throw a, a grenade basically so he can find his location. And basically, yeah, this I think he's like helping her throughout the film. Maybe this is when Rod confronts, um, confronts Brian with his men. You know, having Lenore, they inject her. Like basically, they like antagonize him. I just the guy, guy plays a good bad guy in other movies. Just in this, I'm just I don't care. I at this, I think at this point I was tuned out. I was i was doing that like for an action movie you'd think it'd be a little bit more even if i didn't like it as a movie it could still have some cool action it just didn't like it was because it was even few and far between because we have to follow kim and like and it's not but the point is we want to follow i didn't even want this movie but if we're gonna follow a character it should be brian you should have just had his wife got taken and then they just knocked him out but i get it they want to have him get revenge on him but Feel like if you're gonna have this guy be a bad guy, why not have it to be okay? Let's torture him with his wife. We don't necessarily need to get him. I'm gonna do mind games. And I know, I know, there's a weird movie to compare it to, but there's a movie called Twelve Rounds where the premise is so he, this bad guy wants to get revenge on Cena's character. He tortures him with his wife, and he has to try to get her back with like it should do something like that. Like I think that would have been more interesting because capturing both of them eventually he breaks out. Tries to get his wife back, um, but they, they he doesn't get her back in time. And just, I just, the interest is just not there, man. Like, at least make a compelling movie if you're going to do an action movie. Like, I just don't, when you have an action movie where you just don't care, that's not a good sign. I mean, in general, where you have a movie in general where you don't care, it's not good. But definitely an action movie. Because an action movie is one of the easiest things you can do. You just got to get some cool action fight scenes. Like, yeah, the story may not be the best, but if you can have just some cool fight scenes, that could carry. And it just, in this, it didn't. Like, uh, anyway, so yeah, he breaks out. He gets his daughter, takes her to the embassy. He ends up going back to the hideout. <coughs> Killing Murad's men. 
<laughs> confronts Murad and basically offers if he leaves Brian and his family alone, <coughs> that Brian will leave, not kill him. Which is, it's such a weird, I'm like, why are you doing this? <coughs> Where did this come from? This dude took your wife. <coughs> I guess he was trying to say, like, I'm tired of this, but it, there was no build up to that. That just came out, that was out of nowhere. Like, why are you feeling like that? <coughs> he literally can just kill this dude right now. What are you doing? Murad initially takes it, but then... <coughs> <coughs> but then tries to shoot Brian. <coughs> Brian took the bullet. Basically the same trick from the last movie. <coughs> he didn't <coughs> tell. <coughs> then Brian ends up killing him. <coughs> Gets his wife. <coughs> and then it ends with him meeting her boyfriend. Whatever. <laughs> Taken two is not good, and it's the fact that it's not good is really, really bothered me. It's just more further my point. Is it, why do they make this? <laughs> I think that was more my thinking. Like, why do they? Why this should? Why does this even exist? You don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Taken was such a good one-off story about a man getting his daughter back. Like most action movies, yeah, you could sequelize them because it's either like a military guy, a cop. Or some kind of, like, FBI even. Like, some kind of agency where they can always do another mission. So that's why it's easy. Like, with, um, even though it's not like an action, action movie, Lethal Weapon, they're cops. So you can kind of just give them a different case every movie. But this wasn't that. Because this wasn't Brian as a military guy. This was Brian just wanting to get his daughter back. And I think that's all it needed to be. It didn't, what, you didn't need more. I didn't, uh, it ends, like, yeah, his, him and, and his wife don't get back together, fine, that, I'm, I'm fine with that, like, is that why they made this movie, just so, oh, him and Famke can get together, I don't need, I, I didn't need that, especially if you're gonna make this, this is what you got, this is what you gave us, so I, I'm happy I didn't see it when it came out, but, Taken is not a seat, it just, need, it didn't need one, Taken's a one-off movie, in my head, there's only one Taken movie, We'll see how three is. Three can maybe not be the worst thing in the world, but I, I'm still probably going to, in my head, one off. But anyway, if I were to rate this out of 10, like I said, five, I guess, it, it wasn't compelling. Borderline 4.5 because it when you have an action movie that's not compelling, that really brings your score down because at least give me some cool action scenes, even if the story isn't good. Or even if I still think the movie is bad, at least give me some cool action that maybe I could have given you a six even. But no, uh, we're out of five. I, I really feel like Liam Neeson didn't give a shit. It's just the way he played it in this. It just didn't... He didn't seem to care at all. And it makes me wonder if maybe he has the same feelings like I do, that it should have only been one movie, but it's still, you know, he, he still take the money, you know? Nothing wrong with that. I don't blame him. But so it, it's the case of I'll take the money, but I'm not going to phone it in. And that's what it felt like to me. <laughs> we'll see if maybe three... If if, if if three he still feels like that, then I'm that kind of more... That might prove it, because... He probably feels like, yeah, this is a one-off story. Because, yeah, he got his daughter back. Like, what else is there to tell? I think the third one, from what I heard, isn't it like the government goes after him? Because there's this scene where he breaks in, like, a government facility. But I guess maybe that's why I don't, I don't know. We'll watch it. We're watching it next. I'll actually try to review it Thursday. It's just been a crazy week. last few days. That's why I haven't really been able to do a video. But today, later tonight, I am still doing a video. I am, I should have mentioned this earlier, I forgot. Later tonight, I am reviewing the Hills Have Eyes remake, which, my opinion, beats, it's been a little bit since I've seen it, but beats the original. So we'll watch that tonight, and then, oh my god, that means the next week, Friday, is the goddamn, that shitty second one. So, that's my plan so far for this week, um, to, or today anyway. So, but he'll, Taken 2 is not good, so I, I don't recommend it, I mean... If you're one of those people who are a completionist, maybe, but I'd honestly just skip it. Don't watch to it. There's nothing in there. Like, not even, like, compelling action sequences. Really. Eh. So. But, uh, other than that, I'll talk to y'all later tonight for, um, Hills Have Eyes 2006.
to y'all later. Peace. <coughs> <coughs>